So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers to equip his people for work of service, so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Okay, guys, so this one is um, uh, the second uh, office, uh, which is the office of the uh, of the prophet you know and we were speaking in the last part about uh, the office of the uh, of an apostle and we're saying that an apostle is more like a herald you understand uh bringing something new like the new mystery which uh paul james james uh, john and peter you know brought you understand so uh with that office i don't necessarily think it's very much active in these days and if it is what new will people be bringing? I don't know, guys, if I understand. What new will, be, will people be bringing? And remember, uh, there's a great difference between me and Jesus' disciples. Great difference between you, if you are called, and Jesus' disciples. Why am I saying that? They were to uh, bring this ministry that we are preaching. You understand? So they were more important than me. I'm hardly... <laughs> important <laughs> you know what i mean and uh secondly they were to still write books you know uh confirming what jesus was saying witnessing what jesus was saying while jesus can still reveal himself and reveal things pertaining to the kingdom of heaven i'm not going to be writing any books adding any books to that because already what he will show me already what he will tell me is what is written already. So they are more important because they were compiling, they were to complete the word that Jesus wanted them to complete. Because I remember in the Gospel of John 14, as he was having this intimate final meeting with them, he said that, uh, I am going and when I'm gone, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and he will witness about me. But you too will also witness about me because you've been with me. You understand? So that's why they were the ones who actually wrote, you understand, uh, uh, and compiled and complete the Bible. You understand? Paul wasn't with them, but Jesus, you understand, uh, uh, actually interrupted him when uh, or while he was in this mission of persecuting the church. And Jesus, instead of Matthias, because remember, uh, uh, Judas uh, betrayed Jesus and after that feels guilty and commits suicide. So the disciples reading from the book of Psalms, you know, uh, were trying to replace uh, Judas by casting a lot. And the Lord fell on Matthias and the added Matthias, not realizing that while Jesus picked them himself, meaning Jesus, he had picked them. Uh, Jesus was going to hand pick the one who was to replace Jesus. He, they, they was they were not to cast a lot, but that was the custom in the old covenant to understand. So they were using that to understand. So uh, it wasn't wrong for them to do that. I'm pretty sure Matthias was a good guy, but Jesus was to add Paul in their number. You understand? So Jesus dealt with Paul and gave Paul same convincing proof as he had given the disciples. And Jesus also gave Paul this mystery. You see the difference between Paul and the martyred uh, Christian Stephen. Stephen was very good, very good, and he was also having a lot of revelations and was very devoted as Paul was. But Paul was, I mean, but Stephen was not among the 12, you understand? So Jesus was going to pick himself, the 12th one, to replace Judas, you understand? So uh, we were speaking about the fact that there is no need for uh, apostles because nothing new is going to be brought. You know, everything is done and over and over with. You understand? So I was explaining the fact that I'm not that important. You understand? You are not that important because the Bible has already been compiled by the people that Jesus trusts. So he, uh, I'm not saying that he doesn't trust me or doesn't trust you. I'm saying that you are not that needful. You are not that important. I'm not that needful. I'm not that important because already the word is compiled. 
guys for example you look at what churches are doing uh pastors are opening churches and preaching their own beliefs yet the word is here you understand so we trust the word instead of what pastors are saying particularly me I trusted pastors. I was fooled. I was naive, you know, and I learned from my mistake. And I warn you as well to, to actually be careful, you understand, with pastors because they carry Bibles and preach their own things, you understand. You know, they construe the Bible, you understand, and preach whatever they want to preach, you know, using the Bible though. So uh, I'm not that important because I'm not going to say something and say, hey, believe me, instead of the word. No, you need to believe the word. If I'm saying something that is not in line with the word, forget about me. I'm not that important. Take the word. You understand? So the disciples were important in that way that Jesus wanted to make sure that whatever they say is exactly 100% because they were to compile the word that I now use as reference, that you must now use as reference. Don't use me as reference. Don't use pastors as reference. Use the word. Jesus trust. Peter, trust James, trust John, trust Paul. I trust those people as well. Because if you scrutinize their letters, you realize that they preached exactly what Jesus was preaching. You understand? So uh, now while we are speaking about the prophet, you know, while I don't speak much about the Holy Spirit and these offices because the beast is busy in churches, Satan is the one busy in churches, you know, uh, Jesus did say that he called some to be, you know, into these offices so obviously i might not see they are important it's just that mm, guys i'm scared i'm scared you understand you know i also have an office of my own i also okay occupy office of my own which i'm not going to speak about but if you uh understand these offices and you've been listening to me obviously you must have put two and two together and now you know my office but there's no need to speak about it so uh i've been speaking about it so now uh I, 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 i'm talking about the office of the prophet to understand and i'm going to say this again uh, a prophet is one whom did he speak through, you know, as I said, as he did back in the days, in the time of Moses, time of Daniel, time of Isaiah, you understand. So it's important for these people to be holy and everything and stay away from sin. So they frown at sin a lot because of that, because daddy is holy, Jesus is holy. So to deal with them, you yourself has to live, have to live a holy life, you understand, and lead by example, because you you need to allow them to do their work through you. But just because we are a prophet, it doesn't mean that everything you are saying is them speaking through you. And I made an example in one of the podcasts I was speaking about Eli and Samuel, that Eli is realizing that Samuel is a prophet, Samuel is young, and Eli is a priest, but allows Samuel to come and live with him in the synagogue. But it, it, it must take maturity in, 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 in Eli to realize the switch when Teddy is now speaking through Samuel and also realize when Samuel is speaking as Samuel. Because just because we're a prophet, it doesn't mean that every time you open your mouth, it's Jesus speaking. No. But it means that it, there will be a switch at times where Jesus will be the one speaking through you, you understand, as his vessel. But most of the time, it will be you as well speaking, you understand. So I said here, I'm using Jesus instead of human beings because the beast is busy. So I don't trust human beings. I really, really don't trust human beings. I'm sorry. You know, I trusted pastors too much. They fooled me, you know, uh, until Jesus said, get out, you know, you will take their teachings and die spiritually and won't make it to my kingdom as well. So I really, really am disappointed with pastors and I don't trust them at all. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be using Jesus instead. You understand? So Jesus is a prophet as well. So uh, I was mentioning once also in one of the podcasts that he was saying that when he comes back, he doesn't know that day. Only daddy knows of that day. He just knows of the signs. So when Jesus was saying that to the disciples, I realized that as much as he's a prophet, knows everything, he doesn't know as much as daddy knows. For him to say that he doesn't know when he's coming back, but knows on, or only of the signs, only daddy knows of that day it's quickly you know uh, 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 was revealed to me that Jesus is a prophet indeed but there are things that daddy knows that 
Jesus doesn't know like that. You know, Jesus doesn't know when he's coming back. So if you pro call yourself a prophet and say that Jesus is coming this year or next year on such a such a year, you are lying because Jesus doesn't know himself. Daddy will not tell you without telling Jesus. So if Jesus doesn't know, because if you read also the book of Revelation chapter 14, you'll find that the angels, they tell Jesus to take the sickly and 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 harvest you know in the field meaning that uh jesus was saying that daddy will tell jesus to go and rapture to come now and rapture so jesus doesn't know he will hear that day when daddy says jesus go now it's time to go but the signs he was made to know but that day he doesn't so to me that was like oh okay so jesus maybe is 95 percent 90 percent or 85 percent of a prophet yet the fullness of the father is in jesus you understand as we understand that uh in verse 13 says until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the son of god and become mature attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of christ so daddy is daddy's fullness also is in jesus to understand but there are certain things that daddy knows that he has not told jesus will tell him on that day jesus it's now time for you to do this you understand so uh, jesus is a prophet and was a prophet but as i said that uh, a, a pro an office of a prophet is where daddy speaks through a person so uh looking at jesus there were times where he was uh speaking to the israelites and at times uh, while he was standing in front of them there will be a switch and daddy will speak uh to the israelites through jesus but they wouldn't see jesus will know that at times jesus will perform miracles uh it will be daddy doing that through jesus and at times it will just be jesus because jesus is also you know a prophet as well so he will do certain things so as i said that he is a separate individual just like the holy spirit is you understand so it's things like that so uh prophets there will be a switch you understand where daddy is speaking through uh, jesus but at times it's jesus who's going to be speaking so there was a the time where uh philip you know uh in the gospel of john 14 where jesus was having this final meeting you know philip stood up and said can you show us the father and jesus says no philip i've been with you for three years you are you telling me that you don't know me if you've seen me you've seen the father you know so jesus was speaking about the fact that the fullness of daddy is in him so there are times where daddy is speaking you know to them to the disciples but they wouldn't see the switch but jesus will know that oh it's daddy now speaking through me or it's daddy now saying this doing this um uh for or to the disciples through me you understand so he was saying that because an office of a prophet is where daddy you know has to uh speak through you that's why jesus never sinned you know he he fought against sin to the point of shedding blood because he is a prophet you understand he can't sin he can't live in sin Sin because daddy has to live through him daddy he cannot behold sin you understand so jesus knew that understood that so he has to, he, he had to uh safeguard he had to protect he uh his space making sure that daddy lives in this conducive holy place so understand so jesus had to stay away from sin because of that so if you are a prophet also it's things like this so daddy does still uh, call people to uh, being prophet to understand it's just that many have crossed over you understand and preach their own things as i said if you continue in sin you you, you will cross over and satan will take over but that gift will still be working and satan will be using that gift to understand but you will still be prophesying as jesus says not everyone who calls me lord lord will enter my kingdom and he says many will say to me on that day but i prophesied but i healed but i did this and jesus says i don't know you you perform uh, you are uh, evil doers, meaning you are not obeying my commands, but you are prophesying, meaning that you crossed over and Satan was using you. For me, when a person is, uh, because there are different kind of prophets, there are also prophets that are dreamers. You know, so if you are a dreamer, if you are that kind of a prophet and you don't obey daddy anymore, I don't listen to your uh, dreams anymore. Don't tell me, don't waste my time because I know that you... you you would have crossed over and Satan will use that gift and you'll continue prophesying. Thus, you won't stop sinning because to you it's be like, oh, 
God is okay with me sinning. So God is okay with me having sex outside marriage. God is okay with me loving money. God is okay with me loving the things of the world. God is okay with me doing my own will. Yet you won't realize that uh, you've crossed over because the gift will still continue. It's just that what is being said to you will not be in line with the word. Hence, you'll find these prophets preaching riches, earthly blessings. You know, it's because what they are preaching now is not in line with the word because they've crossed over. It's now Satan using them, you understand, uh, prophesying fleshy cars, prophesying upmarket houses, you understand, uh, making you bougie and worldly. They've crossed over, you understand. So they are not in line with the word. So you wouldn't know. So it's the same thing. So uh, Jesus was a good prophet because he obeyed daily and made sure that that place was uh, good for enough, you know, for him because daily cannot behold evil. Let's go to the next.